Alrighty, uh, back again. As you can see, I got a box on the table. Uh, Zastava Arms USA. So we got some pretty cool Cyrillic uh, Serbian language up here. Not exactly what that says. Uh, if anybody knows, uh, let me know. But without further ado, let's pop open the box. Um, and this is what we got. Uh, magazine and an AK pistol. So, this is a ZPAP 92. So what exactly is the ZPAP 92? Well, the ZPAP 92 is basically just a AK pistol, uh, but this is chambered in 762 by 39. Um, there is another model that they offer, uh, if you can look at the manual here, uh, where they have the ZPAP 85, and you can get that in 5.56. Uh, so kind of cool. You got the options. I'm just going to get this completely off. Okay. So I'm going to go real quick about some of the features, and then I'll kind of go into a little bit more about it. Um, first and foremost, I have had this for a little over six months now. I haven't showed it on the channel lately. Um, <laughs> uh, just things got away from me, so I'm obviously trying to get more content out there. I'm uh, trying to show some of my backlog here. Um, but real quick, um, <clears throat> it is chambered, as I said, in 7.62 by 39. Uh, it does come with a standard magazine. Uh, this is a pretty nice magazine. It's got uh, a steel lug here at the back, steel little lug up here at the front, and it is polymer. Um, and that's a steel follower here, as well as a steel base plate. So pretty nice. I've had pretty good luck with this one. Uh, and it fits in nice. A little bit of wiggle, but nothing really crazy. Uh, so what is some of the other features? Uh, this is a 10 inch barrel. So uh, it's obviously a pretty short barrel for a rifle round. Uh, it's really screams out of there, makes some pretty nice fireballs. Uh, if I get to it some night, maybe I'll film some of the fireballs. It's pretty impressive. Uh, but that being said, uh, this is a chrome line barrel as well. Uh, so uh, the older OPAPs uh, and NPAPs, uh, they didn't really have the, uh, the chrome lining. Uh, so that was definitely one of the things that people kind of gave the uh, PAP series uh, a little bit of a hard time. Um, the other being that it doesn't accept standard AK accessories uh, in terms of, you know, this obviously is a pistol, so it doesn't have a stock, um, but with the four grip here, or the four stock here, um, it's a little longer. So it's not exactly apples to apples, but you do have options in the aftermarket community. Um, another big cool uh, feature of this is this is a 1.5 millimeter stamped receiver. Uh, so it's all steel stamped. So it's definitely thicker. Uh, the Serbs, well, it used to be the Yugoslavians, um, but the Serbs, uh, they made a rifle, the M70, for uh, military purposes, and that led to them basically developing for grenade launching abilities. So they beefed up the receiver and they added this bulge trunnion. So as you can see, it's got a very nice uh, bold trunnion there. Uh, really, it's hard to really see, but really wraps down in there and fills it up. Um, so that is another thing to note. Uh, it is a, <clears throat> in their quote unquote words, corrosion resistant hard nickel molly steel bolt carrier. Uh, so it is in the white, but I think it kind of looks cool. I have a little bit of flash there. Um, machining wise, there's a couple of rough spots here and there, but I'm not going to complain about it. Um, another really defining feature on this, uh, some of the models don't come with this little rail section here on top. 
Uh, it's for a red dot optic. Uh, this particular model does, and it also has a rail section at the back. Uh, so you can put a brace or something like that, uh, or you could SBR it if you uh, wanted to go that route. But one of the coolest features is, is uh, it is a hinged top cover. So it has a very nice hinged top cover there. So it's built into that front trunnion and it just hinges around, makes it real easy to get inside uh, and, and clean it and service it. Um, and really, it's just kind of a cool feature, uh, quite a bit different than you know your standard AKs. Um, so uh, another thing, it has a safety lever here with a bolt hold open notch on the safety selector. So that is kind of a cool feature, comes standard. Uh, has a synthetic grip, uh, nothing really to write home about. I'm not really sure on the origin of that, but definitely kind of has that Eastern European feel and I definitely do like the feel of it. Uh, it's definitely comfy. Um, and has a nice wood hand guard up here. Um, also pretty cool is it does have crank style sights. So as you can see there, uh, these do fold down. You get a four and a two uh, for different ranges. And so that just folds up. And then on the front side here, it does flip down and you can get just a post or you can fold it up and you'll have a dot. Um, <clears throat> another thing to note is it does have a booster brake. So uh, this is a pretty cool looking crank style booster brake. Um, I really like the look of it. That's really what led me to pick this one. Um, but yeah, I think it has a lot of cool features. Um, it has the 90 degree block here. Uh, has a little sling loop so you can hook up there um, or obviously you can tap into that rear rail. Uh, what else can I say about some of the basic features here? Uh, it's pretty heavy uh, which lends itself well to shooting 762 by 39. Uh, it comes in around 6.6 .6 pounds. Uh, this isn't a concealed carry by any stretch um, but yeah uh, so Overall build quality on this is pretty decent. Um, Zestava has been importing these now for, I believe, a couple of years. Uh, it was up to Century Arms back in the day. But in terms of, you know, rivets, they look nice. Everything's flush pretty decently. Nothing overly crooked. Um, the welds look nice. The grip or the foregrip here. Really nice dark, dark wood furniture. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's really <laughs> a really nice example of an AK uh, pistol. And if you really want to have um, a crink style, uh, this is definitely a superb example, I think. Uh, there is a couple other options out there on the market, such as the Draco series, um, Kalashnikov USA, I believe, makes a model. Uh, it's a pistol variant. Um, there also is the Help Up by Pioneer Arms, uh, which teats their own. They all have different little uh, intricacies to them that you know definitely positives and negatives. Um, but I think, uh, really, with this thick receiver and this uh, old trunnion here, really is an overbuilt, uh, well-made AK pistol. Uh, so that leads me into my next thing, uh, price-wise. So when I picked this up, there was a couple different options in the store. Uh, I could have gotten a Visca pistol. Uh, that was around the $750 range at the time of this video, or, you know, about six months ago. Um, there was a Hell Pup that was around the 650 range. Uh, there was this. Uh, this was just under a thousand. Uh, it was about 900 and uh, basically 90 dollars. So rounded up. Um, so why did I go with this? Uh, basically for the reasons I already described. One, it looks just cool as hell. Uh, and in terms of collecting ARs and stuff, 
This is really probably in my mind, uh, one of the better AK pistol variants that you could buy. Um, they've definitely stepped up their games, Estava. They really care about uh, what they're putting out in the US market. Uh, and, and generally, the features are, are great. You get obviously this rail here, um, the sights are great. Uh, you got <laughs> just really cool features, one of a kind really, uh, in terms of that market. Um, in terms of the magazine too, uh, really nice. You only get one, uh, but you know, it does kind of complete the package. Uh, one thing to note is it does, oddly enough, come with a cleaning rod. Uh, but funny enough, there's nowhere to put said cleaning rod. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, obviously you can't do it like a typical one because it'd be way overhanging. But it's nice that they throw it in. Uh, you always have the option for it. So... But yeah, I mean, let me know what you guys think. Uh, is this as cool? You guys think this is as cool as I do? Um, uh, like I said, in the future, I'll do some shooting videos with this and stuff. Uh, maybe some night shots, trying to show, you know, the fireball and whatnot. Because uh, this is a lot of fun. Um, it's not a real long distance shooting gun. Uh, I have dispatched a couple of raccoons with it and uh, worked very well. Um, all I've ever really shot through it is steel case ammo, um, mostly wolf. So haven't had any issues, uh, no hangups. Uh, it's definitely been just a superb AK pistol. So, uh, yeah, again, let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know, what do you, what would you like to see me do with this? Um, you know, uh, yeah. Well, I just thought I'd kind of show it off and kind of tell a couple of the features about it and uh, really sing the praises of this uh, as a, a sample for anybody looking into getting an AK pistol. Um, yeah, so, alrighty. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll keep you posted soon.